YouTube, YouTube, man. Listen, 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 man. It's your boy. Kappa two times. Back with a video, man. And listen, today, 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 I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks to increase your subscribers and also increase your work with YouTube. So basically, I'm go. I'm basically helping you guys improve your channel. I'm gonna give you five tips that I think you guys should use when y'all start a channel. That is gonna be very, very helpful, and you guys are gonna see outcome over time. So first, I will. I will give y'all is number one is gonna be the thumbnail. Now, a lot of people press and click on your shit because your thumbnail is good. Like you gotta make your thumbnail like immaculate describing what's going on in the video type shit your thumbnail your title gotta be something that just happened in the video you, you want to make it to the point where it's like dramatic if you guys can make your stuff your thumb your thumbnail and your title dramatic and it's something with to do with the video you guys are going to are going to get more clicks now software is that i would say for a good thumbnail is Number one is gonna be PixArk. That's one. Another one is Super Impulse X. And that's like $5, you pay $5 to use it. And then the best option is Photoshop. You learning Photoshop is going to be able to help you, help you basically make a bad thumbnail over time. Cause right now in my YouTube career, I'm learning in Photoshop and I'm still getting better. Attention grabber. Attention grabber is very important while trying to grow your YouTube channel because number one, you want people to click on the video. So a little sap little sample of things dramatic things that happen in the video, I think you should also in the beginning like you should try find a way to make it short and put it together and then promote it with your Instagram, Snapchat TikTok, and over time, your counts and subscribers are going to increase. Attention grabbers is very important when creating content in YouTube or making any type of movies. Like you can see in the new Transformers, they made a trailer. The trailer is basically their attention grabber. They want people to go see the video. Make your videos, some type of shorts, like make a short, dramatic, interesting, to make people want to click on your video. That is number two. Look, I'm the prettiest nigga out of all these motherfuckers here. That's all. Damn! Oh, fuck up! Damn! 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 So number three is when starting a YouTube channel, you gotta be able to be consistent. Now, you hear consistency from a lot of people that are successful and a lot of people that are doing something that you wanna do in life, period, point blank. When they say being consistent, it's very important and very true. Because at the end of the day, the more video that you make, and it's like good quality video, the higher percent of YouTube basically putting your videos to reach out to a lot of people. So basically being consistent with basically if you do one week of drop a video one week, drop a video next week, drop a video, you're being consistent over time. You're going to get used to that consistency and you're going to grow. You're going to see the growth coming through your channel. So consistency is a very important thing while doing YouTube. Do not expect to see um, people subscribing to your channel like this because 9 out of 10 is not going to happen. It's going to take time, but just being consistent with yourself and being disciplined with yourself is going to basically help you to get to where you want to get to with creating content or making movies or anything that you want to do. Now, number four is a word called niche. 
a lot of a lot of successful people use this the word niche something that you're very good at without trying or i don't know the definition but i, I just is it something that you like something that you focus on that you just good at something that you just good at i'll just leave it done something that you just good at so with me with my channel as you can see if you go down click the you know subscribe to your channel some subscribe to my channel and some more stuff but um just find something that you're very com comfortable but don't get too comfortable don't ever get too comfortable with just doing one thing but just finding something that could get people attention with say for example blind dates you want to focus on blind dates do blind dates for a good amount and then stop it and try to do something else because you don't want you don't want your uh you don't want people that's in people that support your channel basically watch the same thing over and over and over yes it's working but it's over time it's like how long can you do it for so i just say find something i say put vlogs reactions something put it together within do thing do two things in one channel like me, I'll do vlogs and then public interviews. I repeat it, like vlogs, public interviews. Like just do something. Just don't do one, focus on one thing unless you want to make it like you're a, you're a YouTuber. You got one channel focusing on public interview. You got another channel focusing on reaction. Like every like every other YouTuber that are successful are doing that shit now because they're making more income with it. That's smart. But yeah, I'll just say find something that's that you want to do that means vlog funny videos skits scripts something entertaining i don't know you figure it out animation shit anything that you are good at and last but not least one thing that i'm gonna say number five is stay in discipline like these are five ways that you could really improve and grow your channel when you're beginning. Like a lot of, but discipline, like discipline, bro. Five years, four years, six years, seven years, and you're not still seeing growth. That means you gotta also figure this shit out and not give up on yourself. But just staying disciplined to be consistent with what what you're doing is gonna be very helpful. So, and also this, like, just know, like, it's you're not gonna see. You're not going to see growth like this. And this is not the easy way. Oh, this is the easiest way. Like when people say this is the easiest way to grow a YouTube channel, no, it's not. It's just about being you being consistent, you staying disciplined, and you being able to handle your business. No, just build a wealth for yourself. Like, what do you want to do with your channel? A lot of people start their channel and stop after dropping one video. Or say they're going to start start a channel and start it, then don't drop it. Like, before you get yourself into this game of becoming a YouTuber, understand it comes with a lot of discipline. You got to be disciplined to post videos. You got to be disciplined. You got to be disciplined and consistent to not get distracted so fast on some other bullshit that's happening in the world. Woo! <laughs>